What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well out there, and thanks for all the support. I'm going to break this one down for you right now. I've got the capo on the first fret. Uh, I'm going to show you an alternate way as we move along as well. Uh, I think originally it was probably tuned down a half step. Um, but either way, no matter how easy you get with it, you still are going to need bar chords. So I just kind of figured it out this way, and I'll show you some options. Uh, also, I have a rhythm pattern strumming lesson that's not on YouTube, like a DVD quality uh, strumming lesson. Uh, it's great for the beginners out there, really kind of kickstart your uh, rhythm playing, which can be a struggle. I'm going to leave a link for that right down there, and uh, you can check that out, and I really appreciate it. But anyway, let's zoom in and uh, see what we got going here. Here we go! Okay, so I put the capo on the first fret, and I'm starting with the open C major chord. So that's the first chord. And I'm doing a down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up. Okay? Now, we start with that C chord and do that rhythm. The next move is the easiest one. You just take your index finger off, and that's called C major 7. So we've got C. C major 7. The next thing you can do, the easiest would be to put your pinky on the third fret of the G string there, and then get that back onto C. And that's called C7. But what I'm playing is a, just another form of C7, but it's called C9. And it just adds a little jazzier sound to it. And I, I think I'm hearing those notes right there. So it would be third fret, second fret, and then third fret again. And we're going to cover the G, B, and high E with the ring finger. Like that. And that you can play instead of a C7 anytime. So C. Open, C9, and then we need an F major chord, and then I'm going to play an F minor 7, which just means middle finger comes off and pinky comes off. And that's a very Beatles-y kind of move. regular C7 this time around, so C major 7, I'm going to go to C7, pretty easy stuff, and then F, F minor 7. I'm going to play C9, F. So instead of a F major chord, you could play what's called an F major 6 chord, just to spice up the sounds of the chords as well. Um, an F major is going to work, it's going to work just great, but here's the F major 6. You're still barring that first fret, and then you're playing this kind of thing here. And so it would be the second fret with your middle finger on the G string, pinky on the third fret of the B and ring finger on the third fret of the G right there. And then that F root right there. So the way to do it without a capo would be instead of the C major, you're going to play a bar chord right here, on barred on the fourth fret, the major looking chord, and then the C sharp major seven chord, 
then the C sharp 9 chord, which is the same. And then the F sharp bar chord. So the only thing changing is that open C thing. You'd have to do it up here instead. Those first two chords. This one's the same. And this one is the same as well. So the only thing that would change is the first two there. Okay? Now I'll just put the capo back on. But this part's not it's not going to really matter too much cuz this is uh just does that the whole the, that's the whole song except for the little bridge where there's the guitar solo and it's a bar chord here on the 5th fret major. <laughs> up a whole step then F minor or you know first fret minor bar chord then that up a whole step so check it out fifth fret major bar chord up a whole step first fret minor that up a whole step Okay, then it goes back again, up a whole step, and then we'll just go back to C here, oh wait, no, I'm sorry. Then it goes up a half step, so now this is the, you know, when I said fifth fret, I meant without the capo, so now I'm saying eighth fret without the capo and then up a whole step and then everything goes up another whole step but the bass is still laying on that note right there so here's the bridge fifth fret bar chord up a whole step all the way back here bar chord up a whole step back to that again, up a whole step, up a half step, up a whole step, and then it starts over. it hope you got something from that remember I've got that uh, DVD style rhythm lesson sequence module right down there in that link uh, thanks for hanging out and hope to see you in another lesson real soon take care <laughs>